you firstly a really big thank you for joining us today for uh, the racing passport interview for sky racing i know it's been an extremely busy spring racing carnival and just why everyone else is winding down for the festive season you're ramping things up you've gone and got your license in hong kong so a big congratulations for that um, what was it that spurred the move thank you kirsten um well look at the, the i was actually approached uh, by mr bailey from the hong kong jockey club who's a licensing steward there and he sort of canvassed some, whether i'd be interested in taking up a short term license over there or contract and Look, uh, it was a busy time. We we're leading into the Golden Eagle, and we we're in the thick of Everest, and we had it all going on. But you know, I, I sort of had to think a little bit beyond that, and I had a chat to Christine and discuss it with her. And you know, our girls are an age where we can sort of pick them up out of school and take them over there and relocate without being too disruptive. And yeah, so we gave it a bit of not not a long time, but very careful consideration, and thought that yeah, the opportunity. Uh, is one we'd like to like to take up, take the jockey club up on, and yeah, we we have been there before, so we're looking forward to going back. Well, that's very exciting, and of course, it's a really hard decision. Of course, you have to balance your family and take into consideration everything else that's going on around the world. Um, of course, Moreira's off the, within the sidelines with an injury. Zach Person's been talking about retiring soon. Did that have any influence on your decision at all? Well, I, I do feel, given the current circumstances there, that there are opportunities there for, for, for jockeys to to make a goal of it. You know, I mean, Zach and Joe um, really have had a, a pretty close-knit, you know, a mortgage on the on the top rides over there for, well, I wouldn't say as long as I can remember, but for recent memory. And um, and, and with, with Joe running into his situation and being unavailable I, I do feel there's an opportunity there so I'm not saying that that's the only reason I'm going but it certainly made it attractive for, for us. Yeah understandably so and um, speaking of big rides have you got any teed up at the moment? Look I've got a few rides teed up I, I wouldn't say I've got any headline horses but look I, I, I've had a lot to think about here uh, I've had some big races to to deal with here in Australia and you know we've just finished up on, on the weekend here at Rose Hill so I will go and ride at, at Newcastle in the Hunter on Saturday just to keep ticking over before we fly out on Sunday and uh, take my first rides uh, next Wednesday night at Happy Valley. And during your time in Hong Kong is there an, a race in particular that you've got your eye on that you think gee I'd love to win that? <laughs> There's a few. Yeah. Every race I'm in. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I'm actually yet to win a feature race at the international, the Hong Kong International Race Meeting. Uh, I, I did win the International Jockey Challenge a few years ago. Um, I won't be competing in that this year, so I won't win that. But, but it'd be really lovely if we could feature in one of those big races on International Day. Uh, you know, I have had huge success in Hong Kong. I've had some wonderful opportunities over there, but uh, th those races have eluded me. I've run a few places, so yeah, if we could. If we could feature in the winner's circle in one of the four majors over there in December, it'd certainly uh, give us a good springboard into the into the months ahead. Absolutely. I've no doubt we'll be seeing you in that winner's circle. Um, just touching on moving overseas, you were saying, you know, it's a good time for your girls and it can be difficult moving overseas. You know, I'm English. I can completely relate moving to Sydney. It's the other side of the world. And, you, you know, it's come out recently in the press that John McNeil will be going over for six weeks. James McDonald, Blake Shin will be showing up over in Hong Kong. Does that give you any level of comfort seeing the familiar faces or do you find that it actually adds more competitiveness? Well, I haven't really thought about it. I mean, for, for those guys, that, you know, particularly Blake and James, I'll be sort of flying in for the major meetings, which I'm very familiar with myself. So I can't see them really affecting what I'm doing much at all, to be honest. But um, Jai, I think it's a great time for him to be going. He too has uh, a young family and um, yeah, for, for him, he's achieved at the highest level here in Australia. And uh, yeah, I think it's a really good opportunity for him. And he's someone who I've um, watched really mature as a rider in Melbourne, haven't ridden a lot against him, but I'm looking forward to, to doing so in Hong Kong. and. 
Yeah, I mean, look, for me, it's about just doing the best I can do. And, you know, I, I have been there and ridden with success before. Um, it was some eight years ago that Christine and I spent three months there when Bambi was just a oh, six-month-year-old or six-month-old. So, yeah, a bit of water's gone onto the bridge since then. But, yeah, I'm just looking forward to going back and it won't be as foreign to me going this time as it was for me back then because I've been there before and there are lots of familiar faces over there. So just looking forward to going over, settling in and, and applying my trade to the highest level that I can. Very nice. And speaking of settling, will it just be for three months or are you open to staying perhaps a little longer? What are the plans? Uh, well, there are no plans. Uh, the, the plan is to return home um, early February for the Autumn Carnival. But, you know, I think it, uh, I'd be very neglect to, of me to say that, you know, that's in concrete, but we're, we'd be open to staying, but it's certainly not at the fore forefront of our mind. Um, you know, I've spent many years building up some fantastic relationships here in Australia. And yeah, I mean, I guess if I, if, if things went really well over there, then I would consider staying if, if Christine and the kids were happy. Um, but yeah, it's not. It's certainly not the, the goal or at the forefront of our mind. Okay, and just to quickly wrap up the interview, a little bit more of a fun question. This one's kind of for punters a bit more. If you could ride any horse in Hong Kong right now, who would it be and why? Uh, it'd be Golden 66 because uh, he's just a superstar. I know his form waned off a little bit towards the end of last year, but um, very special horse and I love watching him race. Absolutely, I couldn't agree more. They'd just be amazing to be anywhere near an animal like that. Um, of course, you're very familiar with it. Um, Huey, a huge, huge thank you for your time today. Hopefully, we'll be chatting to you again soon when you've ridden plenty of winners in Hong Kong. Thanks, Kirsten. Anytime. Appreciate it.